Hi, welcome to our next video dealing with algebra and finding the ages of people in the problem. I like this problem because if we read it as we will in a moment, you'll see that we're given very little information, and yet it's more than enough to solve it. Here we're told that Sean is five times older than Chris. Sean is also, uh, also 16 years older than Chris. How old are Sean and Chris? And by limited information, I mean we're really giving nothing about what their ages are, and, and all we're told is how Sean's age is related to Chris's. And in fact, that's all we need. Because here, let's say that S equals Sean's current age, right? So, and then also C will equal Chris's age. Here it says that Sean is five times older than Chris. So Sean's age, we could write that as just 5 times C, right? So whatever Chris's age is, multiply it by 5 and we get Sean's age. So 5C will equal Sean's age. And we also know that, that Sean's age is 16 years older than Chris. So if we take Chris's age and we add 16, right, that equals Sean's age as well. So there's this connection here. Let me just fix this. And what this really ends up telling me is that 5C equals Sean's age, which equals S, and 6, C plus 16 also equals S. And if you write that as a, I'll write them next to each other, 5C equals S, right? 5 times Chris's age is Sean. 5C and C plus 16 both equal the same thing, which is S. So we can write it like this, C plus 16 right, which equals s, that also equals 5c. But we can simplify. We don't really need to say they both equal s, because if they both equal s, or Sean's age, then 5c equals c plus 16. And what you see here is a situation where we can solve for c, and find Chris's age, and then find Sean's age, right? How do we do that? Well, I would subtract c from both sides. Here, c minus c is 0, 5c minus c is 4c, and that equals 16. And now we can quickly solve. 4 times c is 16. So c has got to be, well, 16 divided by 4. Divide both sides by 4. This cancels out, and c equals 4. That means Chris is 4 years old. And then Sean, well, Sean is 5 times older than Chris. Or you can say... Um, which equals 20, right? Because 4 times 5 is 20. But you could also say that Sean is 16 years older than Chris. So 4 plus 16 is 20. And this all works now because, again, Chris's age times 5 gives you Sean's age. Also, Chris's age plus 16 gives you Sean's age. And again, I like this problem. We can, we can solve it. And it really hones in on this idea that, that you can solve for two or more people's ages by confining or restricting the amount of variables you use. Here we're defining everything in terms of C. But again, I guess you could have reversed all of this. There's no reason you couldn't have because you could have said Chris's age is equal to Sean's age divided by 5, right? Because that's an S. S divided by 5. Um, because, you know, it's one-fifth of whatever Sean's age is. And then you could have said, well, Sean's age minus 16 equals Chris's age, and then solved in terms of s, but I didn't want to deal with the fraction s over 5, so I went this way because I thought it was simpler. But the options are there for you, and there are many ways to solve them. So I hope this helped. Thanks.